Well, we are hearing tonight from Defiance College leaders after news broke of the college being put on probation. The Higher Learning Commission says the institution is out of compliance. The commission says the college needs to meet certain standards. And a college spokesperson tells WTOL 11 it did not meet one core component, which requires the college to support educational offerings and plans for maintaining and strengthening quality in the future. A spokesperson for the school sent a statement reading, quote, we remain accredited. In fact, we met 17 of the 18 criteria for evaluation, including all academic criteria. Like many institutions of higher learning in this challenging time in the higher education marketplace, our concerns relate to finances. It goes on. We will continue to offer degrees and the sanction does not impact any part of the student experience. Our plans to address these financial concerns are in place and we have two years to demonstrate to the HLC that our planning has brought about a change in our financial position. And we talked with people in defiance about this news. Nearly everyone in town we asked for a comment declined, saying they didn't know enough about the situation. A group of retired teachers who want to remain anonymous said the college should bounce back, but some said they were shocked to hear this historic institution has any issue. That's pretty crazy. I actually didn't even know that until very recently now. Um, it's kind of scary in a sense because I feel like the Defiance College is a pretty big deal. This is only the second change in accreditation status for the college since 1916.